The keys I'm using are in the bottom right corner of the viewport. In top view, I add a text object. In edit mode, I change the text alignment to center so the text will be in the center of the world. I also change the font to something round. I'll use Fredoka 1 from Google Fonts. The link is in the description. I can then change the text. For this particular font, I want to also change the character spacing. Under the geometry panel, I'll extrude the geometry. Back in object mode, I make a copy of the text as a backup. I select the original text and convert it to a mesh. I'll add a decimate modifier to decrease the amount of geometry. I'll use the planar option If the text isn't very smooth, you could play with the angle limit. After I apply the decimate modifier, I'll add a remesh modifier so I can make sure I have enough geometry for the cloth physics. I choose Smooth for the surface and uncheck Remove Disconnected. Then I can increase the octree depth to get back to readable text. When I go into wireframe mode, I can now see that the objects are subdivided. I also enable Smooth Shading on the modifier. I can now apply this modifier. I select the text and add a cloth modifier. I activate the pressure option. With custom value activated, I change the pressure and the target value. The pressure is the uniform pressure that is applied to the object. The target volume is the mesh volume where the inner and outer pressure will be the same. I change the pressure scale, which is the ambient pressure when the inner and outer pressure are the same. Under the cash panel, I change the end frame. This refers to the end frame of the bake, so it might be different for you. I then choose bake. Now when I play the simulation in the timeline, I see the effect of the cloth simulation. If you want to make changes to the simulation, under the cache panel, delete the bake you just performed and add a new cache. I'll add a shiny material to the text so it looks like the balloons you get at the store. I'll give this an orange base color since this is Blender.
I increase the metallic to 1 and lower the roughness to 0 0.2. To bend the text, I add a simple deform modifier. I change the type to bend and choose the correct angle and axis.